Now this 19th section, as I told you in the previous session, it's a mixed discussion here. Some references to the Muslims, some references to the Munafiqeen. There are a few references even to the, the Mushrikeen, the idol worshippers of Arabia. And there are again some references to the people of the book, especially the Jews who were there in Medina. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has heard and listened the saying of those who have said Allah is poor, they are taunt. Allah is poor and we are rich. They said that Quran says Loan, give loan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It means he is poor, he is in need. We are rich because he wants loan from us. We have to give loan to Allah. So we are rich and he is faqir. And this is the saying of the Jews. They were taunting on Quran because Quran uses these words. Man Give good loan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is whatever you spend for his deen, actually it's a loan, personal loan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whatever you are giving in charity to the poor, well it's a good deed, you will be rewarded, no doubt. But you have spent for your own fellow beings. Maybe your cousin, he's an orphan, you are spending on him. So he's your cousin, your countrymen, your own people of your own nation, you are spending on them. Although this is also, this will also be rewarded. This is charity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you, full reward, give you full reward. But whatever you spend for his deen, to make the deen of Allah supreme, that is as if it is a personal loan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses the word qarz. Give loan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now the Jews, you know, they made it a subject of taunting. Allah has heard what they have said. This taunt of theirs has come to the notice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Salaktubu ma qali. We shall record it, what they have said. It will be recorded, permanent record. Wa qatlahumu l-anbiya. And we have recorded already their deeds that they have been killing the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bighayri haqqit, without any cause, without any right. And we shall say to, to say to them in the life hereafter, on the day of judgment, now have taste fully this, 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 this punishment which will burn you. Azab al harik the burning punishment. And this is because of your own deeds which you have sent before you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not cruel to his Abid to his, you know, uh, slaves. All humans are his creatures. All humans belong to him. Al Khalq wa Allah. They are his his bondsmen. He is not cruel. He is not going to do any injustice to his to his creatures. But you have done so. You said so. It's your own earnings. They are your own deeds. Alladina kalu in Allah ahida. Another, you know, saying of theirs, the Jews. الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ أَحَدَ إِلَيْنَا أَلَّا نُؤْمِنَ لِلْرَسُولِ الْحَتَّى يَعْتِيَ بِقُرْبَانٍ تَعْقُلْهُ النَّارِ Those who said or who are saying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He took a covenant from us The Jews, it was another saying of the Jews Allah had taken a covenant from us That we shall never believe in any prophet حَتَّى يَعْتِيَ نَا بِقُرْبَانٍ تَعْقُلْهُ النَّارِ Unless he presents to us, brings to us a sacrifice which should be devoured and eaten up by a fire which comes down from the heaven. This was a symbol in the ancient days. It was a symbol that whosoever presented something to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if he was a sincere person and Allah accepted his sacrifice, his, pres his present, and a fire descended from the heaven and it devoured and it burnt that, that sacrifice. And it was a sign that Allah has accepted his sacrifice and whatever he has presented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That was in the old ancient days. 
दिस वॉज डेज ऑफ मेरेकल्स वेन ह्यूमैनिटी एट लार्ज वॉज सो टू से इन इन्फेंसी बिकॉज इट हैपन विद हाबील एंड काबिल ऑल्सो एंड देर वी विशेल फाइंड इट इन सूरत आराफ दे दो टू ब्रदर्स टू सन्स ऑफ आदम दे प्रेजेंटेड मेरे प्रेजेंट टू अल्लाह सुबह वाला बट ऑफ यू नो हाबील दिस दिस वॉज एक्सेप्टेड बाई अल्लाह सुबह वाला ए फायर केम एंड इट डेवर्ड एंड यू नो बर्ड दैट दैट थिंग बट दी अदर वॉज नॉट एक्सेप्टेड सो दिट वॉज साइन नाउ दिस से that because allah subhanahu wa taala had taken from us a covenant o oh muhammad if you are a if you are a prophet if you claim now you must show this miracle to us you present the sacrifice to which a fire comes down and it burns it what was the answer qul qad ja'akum rusulun min qabli bil bayyinati wa bil ladhi qultu ask them tell them to you those prophets had already come before me who brought clear signs and also that which you are demanding from me that sign that miracle was shown to you by some prophets before fa lima qatal tumuhu min kuntu sadiqin but was what was your attitude towards them you killed them those prophets of the old testament some of them were killed and slain by these jews so you you were shown that sign and you killed them what does it mean It's only a lame excuse. You don't want to believe in me. You don't want to follow me. That's all. Because you know that it becomes. Then you become come to a lower grade. Now people are following you. You are the leaders. People come to you to ask fatwa and to to have the knowledge and everything. If you believe in me, then actually you will have to obey me. That's the reason you are not accepting me as prophet. But it's only a lame excuse. because this sign was shown to you by some prophets before me but you never believed in them even and you killed them even you killed them fain kazabu ka faqat kuz wa rusul min qablik o prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam if they are belying you or rejecting you so many prophets have been rejected before you by their people people of no didn't accept him only a few people of hud never believed in him only a few all were you know they were punished exterminated in the same way people of saleh how many of the those people they believed in saleh all the saleh alaihi salatu wasalam showed them the miracle of their demand they asked that out of this mountain a a a, a camel she camel should come out and the prophet showed them prayed to allah subhanahu wa taala and the, the demand was fulfilled even they then they didn't believe in it so actually fine kazabu ka so o prophet o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam do be grieved if they are belying you if they have rejected you faqat kuzna wa rasul min qablik jaa'u bil bayyinat wa zubur wal kitab al murir so many prophets before you were rejected and be lied who brought with them clear signs clear miracles and number 2 the supplications and the songs for praise of allah subhanahu wa taala zubur zubur you know zubur is singular and zubur is the plural of zubur and it is the the book of psalms and supplications wal kitab and the book the law sharia al munir which is very bright the shining book the shining sharia the prophets have been coming with all these things but these people have not been accepting them and they were belied and they were rejected what happened to john the baptist just killed so that was the the attitude of the jews kullu nafsin zaiqatul maut now the last thing the last thing that a man fears is death now here you know about that is also discussed and now this is the this is the address to muslims kullu nafsin zaiqatul maut if 70 of you have been martyred at ohod all of you have to die if not today tomorrow day after one year after two year after but this will not make kullu nafsin zaiqatul maut all the souls have to taste death wa inna ma tawaffauna wujurakum yawm al qiyamah the real thing to ponder upon is that you will be resurrected and then you will be rewarded of all your deeds on the day of judgment faman zuhri anil nar 
whosoever is saved from fire of hell and he is he has been made to enter jannah the paradise the heaven faqad faaz so he is the one who is successful who has the salvation may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala include all of us among those allahumma rabbana naj'alna minhum o oh allah our lord include us among those people man zuhdi anin nar wa ukhrij jannah who who are saved who are going to be saved from the fire of hell and who whom you will enter them into your paradise wa mal hayatu dunya illa mataul ghurur and this life of this world is nothing but you know some comfort of illusion is not the real comfort is not the real you know uh, khushi and happiness which you have here some sensual gratifications something you know which appears temporarily which is very pleasant but you know the real pleasant things are those that you will have in jannah they which has no side effect no after effect no bad after effect even if you you are having a very good thing to eat if you overeat what will be the result no such dangers in in jannah in akhirah you know man will have all happiness and full happiness and total happiness